Hi, welcome back to the Clear Image AI video podcast. In the next couple of podcasts, I'm trying to answer some questions I've been getting from people curious about AI, Clear Image AI, and the state of AI in general. Can you explain the most common AI terminology? So what are the most common AI terms you should know? As I mention often, AI is made up of complex sets of different technologies. I often try to keep the terminology simple, but for this explainer, let's dig in. For now, here are some of the most common terms. Algorithm. So the step-by-step -step method that a computer uses to complete each task is an algorithm. Since a computer understands numbers best, the steps are put together as mathematical equations. For example, if x equals 1, then and it goes on like that. Artificial neural networks. The term used to refer to AI systems that stimulate connected neural units. So that's modeling the way neurons interact in the brain. And that's the connection. So cognitive science. It's a discipline that examines the various processes of the human brain, such as linguistics, information processing, and decision making. The goal is to dis discover more about cognition. Deep learning. The use of neural networks consisting of many layers of large numbers, millions of artificial neurons. Deep learning is perfect for projects involving huge, complex data sets. Expert system. A computer system that models the decision-making ability of a human expert. So expert systems are rule-based and normally the if-then statements. Computer vision. This is a big one. This refers to a computer's ability to see. It's important because until now, computers relied on humans reporting for things that required vision. Now computers can mimic this ability. Computer vision can be used for many purposes, especially in the security industry and for quality control. The applications for computer vision will be wide ranging and are likely to grow in the next few years. There are already cloud-based computer vision services that allow companies to buy technology from outside vendors so they can take advantage of it right away without having to create their own tools from scratch. Natural language translation. So this is the ability of a computer to hear something that is said and then answer back to the user. You might be familiar with this technology if ever you used a chatbot or a smart assistant like Amazon's Alexa or Google Home. Thanks to these tools, AI can be used at home and on the go. A smart assistant can reach, can reach and search information for us, reading through answers available online and communicating the best results back to us. We can use these tools to ask something like, what is the weather like today? And even more complicated questions and get short and accurate answers back. Over time, AI tools will perform far harder tasks like doing market research for businesses. For now, companies should start familiarizing themselves with these tools that they can leverage uh, and effectively as they become more advanced. For business, these terms and their uses will be fundamental to know remember them. So until next time, this is Michael Earl. And before we go, I hope it's clear that the great benefits that AI offers at times seem so obscure, but they are game changing. The future will be really big for all of us. So remember, your business needs AI. Learn to integrate AI into your business because AI is the future. Go to clearimageai.com and download our free AI for business handbook, which will help you get started. Bye-bye.